so the current state, AV1. Yeah, it has been done. Um, the standard is frozen, so now the vendors are open to implement decoders, encoders, and all of the technologies. Um, there's a lot of software stuff going on. Of course, the libAOM is there, but there's also David, SVT, AV1, and uh, RayV, I would pronounce it, I don't know. Yes, David is only a decoder, this is an encoder, and this is also an encoder, yeah. Um, and of course, there's other non-open source projects. A lot of manufacturers mentioned that they are also working on technologies, but of course, that is not open source, and we can't really take a look into that. Um, a lot of support is now there. Chrome and Firefox does support it. There's a YouTube page you can just go to and watch AV1 videos if you want to. Um, VLC FFmpeg has support for it. Uh, also in operating systems and in hardware, of course, this is all still in beta, but most of the companies are working on this. Um, there is, however, no wide adoption of this yet. Actually, I would have been surprised if, you know, it's a little over a year now. For video codecs, it always takes time um, until there's a wider adoption of it. But it's, it's going, it's starting, and it's, uh, it's looking good. VVC, of course. Um, there's only one reference software implementation yet. The standardization is still going on. There's also no adoption yet, of course. Um, yeah, the standardization is still in progress. Uh, the reference software, as I said, is open source and all of the documents. So if you want to take a look at that, please go ahead. Um, it's all on GitLab. 